All right, everybody, let's talk about the scientific method versus the engineering design process. So these are your two basic options for when you're developing a uh, science fair project. So we'll start with the scientific method. This is one that everybody should be very familiar with right up here. So um, basically we start you know, with a question, you do a little background research on it, you come up with your own hypothesis, then you test your experiment. Now, if your experimentation works or it's working, there's no problems with your design, that's great. You analyze the results. If you did have troubles with your procedures, then you troubleshoot, you rewrite your research plan, you come up with new procedures, and we try this again. So it works. We analyze our data, and you'll notice one of two things. Your data supported your hypothesis, great. Announce the results to the world, all is good. If it did not align with your hypothesis, then you might come back to the very top here and construct a new hypothesis and start this whole process over again. For example, where are my car keys? I don't know. Do some background research. I think about where I might've left them. I think maybe I left them on the kitchen counter. So I test the experiment. I go check the kitchen counter. They're there, great. And I analyze my data. Yes, it aligns with my hypothesis. I have my keys. If it doesn't, I come back and develop a new hypothesis. They're still in my pockets of the pants I wore last night. Conduct, go through this whole step again and see if we can come, uh, have our results align with our hypothesis. So basically, that's the scientific method. We know this. We've learned this. The engineering design process is a little different. It's, we don't start with a question. We start with a problem. We do some background research to understand this problem and is, see if there is a fixable uh, solution. <clears throat> we develop a prototype, come up with our solution, and then we test it to see if it works. If it does, great, we share our results. If not, we redesign it, come up with a new prototype, and test it again. Here's the basic steps here. Define a problem, do background research. Uh, we brainstorm, evaluate, choose a solution. We test, we develop our prototype and we test it. If it works, great. We communicate our results. If it doesn't, we come back here and redo and restart from any one of these places. So this is the difference in the scientific method and the engineering design process. Thanks for watching.